going to go through all the procedures to set a barrel up and to chamber it. Here's our barrel. I'm going to insert the muzzle in a couple inches into my true chuck. True chuck means that it runs to zero. I always chamber my barrels using a steady rest. I'm a perfectionist. I've done thousands and thousands and thousands of barrels this way. And everything comes out perfect. And the rifles that I build proves that my machining procedures and my setup is perfect because of the outstanding groups that my rifles shoot in my hands. Now, this barrel is set in the chuck. I've got a steady rest here. I'm going to put a center in the barrel. This lines up the barrel perfectly with the center line of the bore. It's running true. I don't have to indicate anything. It's not necessary to indicate anything. I have machined the OD diameter of the shank for a journal which basically creates a, a journal to run the steady rest off of. Now, without anything running, I'm going to run these down and they're just going to touch. There's no pressure. It's just going to touch. Now I'm going to turn my lathe on with this all lined up. I'm letting this run momentarily. I shut it off. I take each one of these and adjust that very carefully by feel. Now all those are adjusted by a very fine feel to touch this barrel. I'll back my center out. I'll feel this to see that it has absolutely no play in it. This and right now we've got a perfect alignment with the barrel to chamber on center. Now I might explain that this chamber reamer was manufactured center drilled in each end. That chambering reamer to begin with has a blank turned on centers in a lathe was rough machined. Then the flutes were cut in the reamer. Then the next thing, this reamer was put in centers in a tool grinding unit, a CNC tool grinding unit. And this chambering reamer was machined entirely on centers by center. I'm duplicating the exact situation right here how this chambering reamer was made on centers. It can't be made any other way. With this in mind, and everything lined up perfectly, and a center in the tailstock, and the pilot of the reamer running to a correct fit in the bore, and I have my reamers made to fit the bore correctly, with proper procedure, and my many, many years of experience, I cut a chamber that is correct. 